this is the type of hair that you will see and you'll be like oh my god you are shouting for two reasons one the hair is beautiful it's full you want something like that for yourself but secondly as a hairstylist you'll be wondering when will i be done with this hair anyway just join me as i'm going to be making not less braids for my sister so she has very full hair so I so for this style we'll be using two pack of expression medium size they are medium size pack we'll be using two we're going to be cutting it into cuts two that means two equal halves so that it will be a little bit long you know when not, not less braid is long that's when it's beautiful so i'll be showing you how i do my not less braid yet i know it's everywhere like it's 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 something that is very beautiful people love it people like it so i want to be showing you how i do mine so that you need to be professional to looking beautiful it's not be looking as if you're doing um ghana braids like you'll be seeing the attachments at the top or your extension at the top of the braids you want it to be looking as if yes it's your hair you know like looking beautiful so i'm just going to be cutting it boss boss and i'll be section i'll make sure that all the boss are going to be at like the same size so i'm just going to cut my first line so the guideline i use is i use uh, when i'm sectioning my hair i make sure that from one side of the ear to the other side it's equal so that one side will not be tiny and the size everything will be you know like it will be equal like the same size all through so you can see me pack a uh, section in my hair i'm parting it now but before parting i like adding my my hair was yes i love doing that i don't really like i'm not a fan of too much of hair was because most ones that you see today they they turn white when you use them too much and yes if you there are some that are, that don't turn white those are the expensive ones but for my area for some areas where people don't really pay that much for hair you will not want to be like be investing too much so you when using something that is not too expensive you also want to you know make sure that it's good so that your customers will return to you after you make the hair and at the same time after all the purpose of you using hair was is to you know slip all the hair so that you get, get you can pick all the hair and make it neat and shine by the time you are done not to be you know not to be the opposite looking whitish or so so i'm just going to be cutting parting my hair sectioning it to boss spots then i'll start braiding so i'm just going to um well, what i do is after combing it like this i'm going to section it into three parts as you can see me section it, then i'll start weaving so i'll weave it make sure that i've secured the hair like this then i'm going to take and put it by the side i'm putting it at the one on, on top and the one by the side then i'm going to braid make sure that the one that doesn't have attachments will be under then i'll add from the side to it as you can see me doing and i'll be making sure that i'm hiding the hair like a natural hair so that the attach will be the one showing so that when i'm going to be trimming the hair i will not trim her hair instead i will trim the attach I don't know if you understand what i'm trying to say so that's just the drill so i'm going to repeat it multiple times so that you can see what i'm doing it's very easy and you're going to see the the results you can see how the hair is flowing like the way it's looking like i don't know if you get what i'm trying to say but the purpose is you don't want your extension to be showing at the top of your attachment like top of your not less braid if you are if it's that way it's it's not be giving what it's supposed to give you know it's always be looking as if yes you braided your hair people like people should be wondering that you know though people know you added attachment to your hair but people should be wondering like why is the why is this thing flowing they should not be seeing where you added the extension if you know what i mean if you get what i mean so i'm just going to do the same thing again i'm going to part the bus and if you notice since i'm going higher the bosses i'm going to be uh, uh, the, the bosses the size are going to be much for each line so i'm going to shift my hand a little bit to that to the end so that in the middle of in between the ones on the on top i don't know if you understand what i'm saying so that the like it will it will cover the spaces i don't know if you get it so what i'm trying to say is the one on top in between the mm, okay let me try and see how i'm going to explain this so i'm just going to shift my hand so that the next one i'm going to do on top is going to fall in between as you can see this one now is falling in between the ones at the bottom so that your hair will be covered so that there'll be no space and gap in between if you get what i mean yes so that's how i'm going to be part sectioning my hair i'll be patting it in such a way that 
there will be no gap in between so the one on top is going to fall in between the, the two on that so that's how I'm, i'll be sectioning it that's why i'll be shifting my hand to the you know to this other side and at the same time the bosses are going to be of the same size so i'm just going to be adding you add from the side you can see the way i'm doing it there is no rule that you continue adding this for the size i want to do i'm not going to be adding too much it's when i feel that okay the the braids are becoming tiny that's when i'm going to you know add to it so, depending on how full my client hair is when sectioning this top but I have like 16, I have, I usually do six lines. That means if you're counting from one ear to the other ear at the front line, you're going to be counting 12, either 12 or 7, depending on how full or the size of my boss, boss braid. So I'll just start sectioning my hair and using the same way, like the same principle I use. And for her, like her hair was very tender. So her scalp was very tender. So she was complaining that it was paining her. Though it's not supposed to because it's not less braid it's it's a very comfortable style it's a style you can do and you can start you know styling it packing it you know packing it up and you're not supposed to feel any pain because there's no knot at the bottom of the braids but it's hard scalp was very tender so we are making sure that it's comfortable for her it does not cause her much discomfort but why is it that most persons that have full hair, much hair like this, always have tender scalp? <laughs> While the ones that don't have much, even though you are dragging the hair, like you're even doing, they can do locks, do any style at all, and it will be looking like they will not be feeling the pain that much. Like, I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, so we're just going to continue to braid, 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 until, you know, we're going to, before we see the final look. So you can see that I'm just... You know following it step by step line by line and yes i like using this method you know so persons will divide the the head into two parts the front part and the back to finish from the back then go to the front for me it's not usually for me it's not faster though i don't know for me personally it's not faster for me so i like cutting it like line by line until i get to the top and that way i'm able to control the box and you know so that everything will be looking beautiful yes we are progressing yes i have someone that is helping me to be complete so i'll just be you know i'll just add to it when it gets to a particular length i'll just drop it you know that kind of thing because this hair thing is not something only one person can do i really like i have to employ someone to to be helping me to complete because it's not less braid it's not like the other normal uh, braid that other one before you see you are done but this not less braid really takes time like it takes hours before and if it's just you uh, the thing is very it's very stressful and in most places it's not like they really pay very much for it some places they pay very good for it but some areas they don't pay very much for it so but so what to do you just have to you know pay someone to help you complete as you're dropping in person will be completing so that you will to finish on time and attend to other customers if you have other customers but anyway it's just going to save you the the stress you will still have time to rest because this hair thing is you know it's not really easy at all so yes this is the finished look you can see the boss is like the hair it's so neat and this is the length it's actually long we used to exactly two no one was remaining like i made sure i used to and we did not really add to the length we did not add to the, you know to the tip to make it longer and yes this is the inside this heights looking it really came out beautiful so thank you guys for watching and if you've not joined the family just feel free to click the subscribe button and, and turn on your notification button so yeah we give content about beauty like your hair your makeup your ghillie so you can feel free to watch our previous videos but for now bye bye